In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to memorize the timetable very easily and very fast by looking at some of the pattern. Now, if we look at this timetable, it's very daunting, it's very scary, isn't it? But if you look for pattern and you memorize most of the pattern, the rest is very easy. Well, I'm going to highlight each one of them as I go over them, okay? So let's look at this one. Remember, we understand these are factors, okay? And these are the product that we have to remember. So let's look at one. Anything multiplied by one is equal to itself, like one times one, or one times 12 is equal to itself. So anything multiplied by one is equal to itself. So we are done with that part. So if the one is done this way, it's also done this way as well, okay? Now, let's look at number two. Well, think of two. If anything is two, we double it, okay? So in this case, two times two is four because double two is four. Two times 10 is 20. So that's pretty easy. You can do the basic math by now. So doubling a number is very simple to some extent. So this is done. So two is done. Going this way is done too. See how that work? Now, what about three? If you can double, of course you can triple, just adding one more. For example, in this case, okay, we have three times three. What's three times two? Six plus another three is what? It's nine. Okay, that's pretty easy, isn't it? So if we can do that for the three, in this case, what's four times three? So what's two times four? What's double four? That's eight. Eight plus another four, that's 12. Isn't that easy? How about five times three? What's two or five? Well, I mean, double the five, that's 10 plus another five more, what is that? 15. So you can double, of course you can triple. Okay, now we are done with the three. Isn't that easy? So um, now we're done with three this way as well. What about four? If you can triple a number, can you quadruple the number? Of course. So I think four is the maximum you can go to some extent. Because you think about it, what is four times three? Okay, so I triple the four. Okay, that's 12 plus another four more. I can do that in my head. That's 16. So that's pretty straightforward. From now on, I will start writing. Okay, so we have, okay, four times three. Okay, that's equal to 12 plus another four. What's that going to equal to? Well, 16. That's equal to four times four. See how that work? If you do that easily in your head, with the three, you just add one more. And lastly is the five. The five is a little bit tricky, but it's very easy to count. If you think about it, everything, so for example, five times one is five, five times two is 10, so we can actually use a finger. Five, 10, 15, 20. So four times five is 20. Add another one, 25. So five is so easy to count, okay? So now, can you agree with me that we are done with the four as well? So I'm gonna go highlight it. The four, okay? And for my pattern, or for this pattern, most of the time it work all the way to 10, okay? So I kinda highlight 11 too, but it's pretty much the same thing for most of them. So four is done, as well as five is done, okay? So what is left for us? Now let's skip six, seven, and eight. That is the hardest one, okay? But we remember most of six and seven, eight already. Now let's get to nine, but don't do nine next. Let's get to the next easiest one is 10. Anything multiplied by 10, we just add one zero to it. For example, 10 times one, what's one add a zero? 10. What is 10 times two, what's two plus another zero? 20. So isn't that easy? Even 10 times 12, what's adding a zero after 12? So 10 is super easy. Now we memorize 10, okay? Now let's go to 11. For 11, is even easier for any number less than 10. Look at this. You just write the number twice. What's 11 times one? What's two one? 11. What's 11 times two? Write two twice. That's 22. 11 times seven? seven twice. So 11 is pretty easy. Okay, so we got 10 out of the way. We got 11 out of the way. Okay, so the only thing left is what is nine. Now, if you know 10, nine is really easy because all you do is subtract that number from the product of 10. What, what do I mean by that? So let me show you in this case. Okay, we know that one times 10 is 10. What's 10 minus one? Nine. Look at that. 
What about 2 times 9? Well, look at 2 times 10 is 20. 20 minus 2 is what? What's 20 minus 2? Okay, let's do this in my head. No, it's too late. 18. Okay, isn't that easy? Let's choose a number. How about 7? Okay, 7 times 10 is 70 minus 7. What is that? 63. Is that right? Yes, there you go. Let's try something else. How about 9? So we have 90. 90 minus 9, that is 81. Does it work? Yes. So now we have memorized the whole entire timetable. The only thing left is this magic number right here. And I'm going to use a different color right here. This right here, this little box right here. You have to memorize them individually, which include 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you just now have to memorize 9 of them. So that's why a lot of students struggle over these 9 products right here, between 6, 7, and 8. But if you can memorize most of it, if you can memorize most of the things right here, you are pretty much pretty good for middle school, or at least in 5th grade, 6th grade, and especially in high school because you are going to use your timetable so often that you have to notice in your head like this. So good luck with memorizing the timetable. And if anybody tell you not to memorize the timetable, just memorize it. Trust me, your life in your math class will change a lot because you know your timetable just as much as you need to know your addition table as well. So good luck with it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, go to the website and practice. And of course, if you think you're ready to go, you can now go to this website and practice to see how fast you can do this timetable in your head, okay? So do it, so practice, do it, and practice again. And remember, if you like this video, please share this video with other people, as well as give us a thumb up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you and we will see you next time on another video on how to do math.